Good morning, guys. Uh, those of you that have been paying attention to the blog, uh, you'll notice that I put up the latest version of 1.7 Alpha yesterday morning. Uh, so if you guys have grabbed that, you've probably already seen some of the things I'm going to show you here. Um, if not, I'm just going to quickly go over it and I'll put the link down below where you can go ahead and get the, get this latest alpha. Um, one of the things is uh, a lot of the translations and all that stuff, there were some missing uh, strings and keys. So those of you that have been helping out with translations, there'll be some new stuff in there uh, to work on. Um, Another big one is uh, I now have an ability to dump some uh, useful information when trying to get a hold of me for support. And you can do that by going to the help report bug feature here. And it'll generate a pretty substantial list here of information, which includes everything from just, you know, standard computer information, uh, the log to... Um, like values of the profiles and all that stuff. It'll dump the actual profile in here as well as a list of like drivers and stuff you have installed that could be interfering. So um, yeah, just use this, save it to a file and then uh, upload that file to the form and send it to me. And that should help me uh, narrow down issues. Um, there really haven't been that many reports of issues yet. So uh, you know, hopefully there's nothing major. Um, let's see, something else, uh, a lot of back-end stuff uh, I've been working on. Um, I don't know how well uh, you're going to notice this, but I've also changed uh, the way that these, uh, like, the UI elements bind to the data objects in the background. Um, and instead of just, you know, a template binding directly to it, now there's an actual, like a, a model structure in between. Um, it basically just makes it a, a lot easier for me to add more axes into, into this, into the future. Uh, so, um, but not much is changing on the UI side, except for, you'll notice there are values now next to the sliders. Um, so you can see what's going on there and even change the value in there as you see fit so uh, let's see what else the macros are still being worked on that's not quite finished yet um, let's see the about window uh, I went ahead and mentioned uh, the guys that have been helping out with translations in here so uh, thanks to them uh, got their information in here as well and uh, as more translators uh, come forward and volunteer, I'll add them in as well. Um, a couple more settings in here now. You can add, you can start minimize, start with Windows. Uh, those are pretty basic. They were in all the other IMs. It's just I haven't brought them forward yet, so now that's in there. Uh, let's see. Oh, big one. Uh, VJoy is now supported as an output device. And uh, you still have to set it up manually. Um, see if I can find it in here. Configure VJoy. Uh, you need to download their driver from their site, and you got to create uh, the device in here to have a continuous POV. Um, all the axes, uh, number of buttons. Um, Thirty-two is fine. Uh, the DualShock 4 or any of these other devices don't really use up that many buttons. But uh, yeah, the biggest thing is, I think this doesn't do it automatically, is to set a continuous POV and to choose one of them. Um, but yeah, once you do that, you can, uh, matter of fact, let me go ahead and power up your controller here. And we'll set this to VJoy driver. Set this to VJoy test. Okay, and there you go. Um, so yeah, I mean that, that didn't actually take long because their API is pretty easy and well done. So uh, yeah, that'll allow you to turn uh, the DualShock or any other 
input device is compatible an input mapper into a uh, standard direct direct input device um, so I'm not really positive what the use of that is uh, it's just something that was easy enough to add in as an output driver so I figured I'd go ahead and do it um, there's also I played around with the mapping the accelerometer and gyro um, to a VJoy device. There we go. And you see that. Uh, again, just playing around, seeing what you know the program's capable of, and seeing what it can do. So, um, let me see. I think that's about it. Yep, that's about it. Uh, also, some bug uh, fixes in there, um, but otherwise. Uh, I still got a lot of work to do, mainly in the macros, um, and I'm also toying around with how I want the automatic profiler that I had in the old program to work. Um, it had some shortcomings, especially with Steam and uh, Windows Store apps, where they would all report the same kind of wrapper application, which would confuse uh, Input Mapper as to what program is actually running inside of that wrapper. So uh, I'm, I'm playing around with some new ways to do that. Um, nothing that's really ready to release yet. Uh, it's still in testing, but um, it is something that's being worked on. It'll come out soon. All right, guys, that's about it. Everybody have a good one.